Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie. If you are when you're here at the Legon Sports Stadium, it's the day four of athletics. But tomorrow as well, uh, we have a very big game. Ghana versus Nigeria. Tonight, Ghana will play Nigeria in the under 20 women's uh, competition at the All Africa Games. Also in hockey, Ghana will be facing Nigeria in uh, some other games ongoing here at uh, the all africa games ghana will be playing nigeria it's, it's sure clear to say that these two countries are set to battle each other out countless occasions in different sporting events here in and around the country but today my focus is on the ghana black stars we're going to talk about details for the game the match officials and my possible starting 11. as usual don't forget to subscribe if you haven't uh, click on that notification bell to get more updates so as i said there will be a watch along for the ghana versus uh, uh, nigeria game it will be inside osu adjacent the betway office it's well it's on top of the betway office you know so right after the jb dankwa circle oxford street you take a left turn the first left turn and you're inside uh, the betway office on top of the betway office is where we'll be having it's a rooftop with amazing uh, view and scenery there'll be free drinks yes you can join us there for free drinks my good friends from football fans tribe if you watch the video on their channel we have spoken about it and previewed the game and a bit of banter here and there so uh, it's sure to be an interesting one there join us for that watch along it will be interesting to have you and great to have you guys there we'll jump right into it and first of all we'll talk about the officials for the game tomorrow ghana will take on nigeria and the kickoff time for the game posted by the gfa is 4 p.m gmt yes ghana versus nigeria will be at 4 p.m at gmt yes uh, many of you were wondering the time for the game uh, yesterday i brought you camp updates as they had at uh, their second training session uh, the final training session will be held today obviously and i uh, will update you accordingly but onto the game itself and it will be a moroccan referee obviously we are playing in a morocco marrakesh a moroccan referee will take charge of the game jalal jayed is set to handle the game he will referee the friendly international he's 36 years of age and has taken part in the recent well he took part in the recent african cup of nations in cote d'ivoire he will be assisted by his compatriots Arket uh, Mustafa, assistant one, uh, Brinsi Zakari, assistant two, and El Farik Hamza, uh, fourth official. The two West African uh, giants and uh, will clash for the first time since the FIFA World Cup a qualifier game in march 2022 when ghana qualified Men's on 1-1 one our one. way goes after a 0, zero draw at the Babaira sports stadium the friendly match is scheduled for kickoff at 4 p.m gmt at the grand de stade marrakesh in morocco on friday 22nd of march so 22nd of march uh, 2020 2024 tomorrow is the day that the game is coming off it will be an interesting game we're looking forward to it we're excited by it and uh, we know it's just a friendly but when two great countries like this come together uh, you can expect the fans uh, to decide to have a good time yes there are a lot of players that are expected to be in here that are not uh, going to be available for this clash uh, but hopefully it will still be an entertaining encounter and an encounter that we all enjoy here at watch ghana versus nigeria 4 p.m gmt is the kickoff time for that one and we'll be having a watch along inside osu oxford street it'll be interesting and i'll be excited uh, to have you guys join us there uh, we'll be seeing how things go whether the black stars can uh, well enjoy a bit of a good start or to idle with his new technical team or whether nigeria will probably have a good start under finiti george well that being said with the time with the official and everything settled it's time to get into the business of a possible starting 11 and uh, this starting 11 it's not going to be everyone's favorite starting 11 as is always the case when i bring out a starting 11 but this is who i think should start these games remember it's just a friendly there are players we need to freshen up there are players we need to see again there are players we need to see for the very first time so we also have to uh, consider all those things before uh, we talk about the starting 11. in goal i will go with joe walakot it's been a while i've seen him in post for the ghana black stars uh, tzigi we've seen enough of him in my opinion i think uh, joe walakot should start this one here 
and uh, he's the one I'm having go. Let me know what you think. Also at right back, Tariq Lamte. For the same reason, Joe Alacott, I think Tariq Lamte, it's been a while. We saw him in action for the Ghana Black Stars. Uh, Tariq has been out for a while with injury and uh, was not available for the African Cup of Nations. And uh, owing to that, Coach Chris Hutton could not use him. Roberto De Zerbe said Hutton did not watch the Premier League because he called him up. Well, he is no longer in charge and uh, Tariq is fit now and uh, we'll have him available. In center of defense, I've not seen Daniel Amati or Alexander Juku in camp yet. 23 players have reported to camp and those two are still not in. So I'm not going to have, well, we are not going to have our preferred center backs available. And we shouldn't probably have them because I think we need to try out players. So I will be looking at uh, Nathaniel AJ probably getting a first call up into the ghana national team who we'll also probably have casino adams the more experienced head in there also uh, being part of this uh, starting lineup so in center of defense i'll have those guys there at left back our options are very limited considering the players in camp so patrick pozo is uh, the player i will be looking at playing at left back it's a makeshift defense it's not the best but it's what we have available in the midfield salis abdul samed obviously will be in there for me and i will play forcing amankwa forcing amankwa will be in there for me along with uh, osman ibrahim at the right of uh, my 4-3-3 formation in the right prong at in the right attack i'll go with osman bukhari Yes, Osman Bukhari will start this one for me. At left wing, I will go with... Uh, it was a battle between Ernest Nuama and Abdo Fatawi Sahaku. Considering the form Fatawi Sahaku is in, I will play him at that left uh, wing. And then up front, Antoine Selom Semenyo will be in there. These players are the ones I've chosen to start this game uh, versus the Nigerian Super Eagles. We'll see how things unravel on that front and how Ghana perform in this game here. Ghana versus uh, Nigeria always serves up an interesting storyline. Whether it's a friendly or whether it's a competitive game, these two countries, some way, somehow, form is put on the sidelines. Nigeria will say they are African Cup of Nations finalists and they do not have to mingle with someone like Ghana who are group stage uh, exiters of the last two afcons whichever way you put it we exited the group stage of the afcon in 2022 and went on to qualify for the world cup ahead of nigeria playing against them so it's clear that when this game comes along there's some extra motivation for the players it's a great time for the players who have been called by coach otuado to prove themselves the onus is on them to show otuado and the technical team that they are capable of uh, being put in charge or entrusted with the Ghana national team to play for us in the absence of the senior men Kudus Mohamed, Inyake Williams and the likes who are not going to be available and uh, also Alexander Juku and um, Gideon Mensah, Daniel Amati. So that's my starting 11. Let me know what you think in the comments box. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening.